so I finally did it. I played eight games straight, and all we did was go crate hunting. It is very dangerous. However, at the same time, it's very rewarding. You can get some sweet guns. But you have to be willing to go outside your comfort zone to get rewarded with those big guns. But is it worth it? Can you pull off crate hunting and actually get chicken dinners? Or will you die? So anyways, I'm gonna go over some of my tips of things that I learned in those eight games. Um, here, my number one, you need to land in the middle of the map or by roads, get a vehicle. The next tip, you have to loot fast. Another thing, I want you to get some extra grenades. Third tip, is get a vehicle, get on the top of the hill, top of a high point, and you're gonna watch out for that plane. Fifth tip, you're gonna follow that plane as fast as you can. Now how fast you can get to that plane will determine if you're gonna be the first one to loot or if you're gonna have to stop just shy and kill whoever is already looting it. So you'll have to pay attention to how fast you are. Remember, you have to loot fast. The faster you loot, the faster you can get out of there, make your getaway, and that's your final tip. Get a clean getaway. So last night we played eight games total. We lost six of them, but we won two of them. So I wanna kinda of go over some of the things we did right, some of the things we did wrong. And for the most part, we really enjoyed doing it. It was a nice break from that 15 to 20 minutes that you'll spend just looting and then you run to the next circle, might get a couple kills, and then you might die. This, I mean, if you're gonna die, you're gonna die pretty quick, you just do it again, and you're always gonna have a fun weapon to play with. So one of the things that we saw that actually seemed to work out great is one person was a designated looter, the other person was a designated distractor. So I'm driving around in circles, distracting, in case anybody else comes up. As soon as he said he was ready, I picked him up and we took off. So the one thing we noticed if we're doing duos, only one person should loot at a time. Even if you're going to give that weapon to the other person, only one of you loot. The other one just sit by close by and protect. Of our eight games that we did, I don't think any of those, we actually died at the crate. Usually we would die uh, later on, not at the crate. So that was interesting. I always thought that if you go to the crate, you're going to die because that's how it always works. But when you're actually crate hunting and you're fast, we didn't die at the crate hardly at all. We got into a few firefights. Um, in fact, that's why I said get a grenade. I can't find the video, but I had this cool moment where we just bombarded some guys who are already there with grenades, and then we get all their stuff. So even if you're a little behind, it's okay. You just have to put yourself in a position where you can take out those guys who are already at the crate. So I think one of my biggest tips would be don't run to the crate. You need to drive to the crate. If you try to run, you're gonna to be too late or you're going to be a sitting duck. Driving is what's gonna keep you alive. Um, that's what happened here. We were driving, we had to stop. We kind of stopped in a bad spot and had to fight these guys. Luckily, but, you know, I hurt that, hurt that guy, and Foul Monster Flux was able to finish both of them off on his own. Remember, if you win, even if you're just a few seconds late and you get the kills, you still walk away with the guns. And then you get to try them out on the enemies, and that's the best part. You know, I've always thought the reward wasn't worth the risk. But these guns are so powerful, and now that there's level 3 armor and a helmet inside the crates, it makes it worth it. I think it is worth, you know, risking it. So that's kind of the end of my actual tips to tell you. Um, these, the last bit of this video is going to be me doing a walkthrough of what we did right and kind of what we did wrong while we were learning a lot of these tips. Um, we'd already grabbed our crate. I had, we both had the same sniper, although I didn't use it much. In fact, Falmaster was kind of laughing as you get the best sniper in the game and you're switching to your AK. Um, I don't know. I think we're going to do a whole, uh, sniping video and I'll practice a lot more and get better with my sniping. Uh, we've just kind of snuck up here, trying to stay inside the circle, lay low. We kind of feel like we're in a bad position right here. We have to move up. But there's some guys right there. Here's where Falmaster thought it was hilarious. I could have sniped those guys, but I, I pulled my AK out in, instead. Um, we're just kind of wanting to lay low down here at the, the bottom of this. 
Because we know that trying to shoot up is always a little bit more hard than them trying to shoot down on us. We start chunking our grenades. I'm thinking maybe we'll knock one. Um, no one seems to really know we're here. I'm going to throw a few more grenades. Kind of stinks. We have the snipers. Oh, we got a grenade kill. We both got some grenade kills. Well, now it's just one versus two. This has played out pretty good in our favor. We know that we, we don't have the high ground here, so we're just kind of moving up. I see, I get behind this wall. I see that guy. I tell Foulmaster. Foulmaster kind of gets his attention, and he doesn't even look this way. I'm waiting just in case he comes over the, the wall, but when he's not looking at me, get a headshot. We got, That was our first chicken dinner. That was our second time to go crate hunting, too. Uh, we were shocked that we got a chicken dinner on our crate hunting. And the, the, the amount of time it takes to actually go crate hunting, um, it eats up a lot of that time. You walk out with some pretty good stuff. You may not have all the heels that you want. Um, but here's what I, I kind of changed some stuff up. I like the Los Leones area. Um, these little god buildings that everyone calls it, or the double gray buildings. They were great for getting some pretty good loot so I could get out of there quick. Um, there was this guy. I just wanted to scare him off. You know, normally I'd chase people down, but not with a, not with that Winchester. And also, we need to get to crate hunting. So I was able to find the vehicle, take off. I was going to uh, sync back up with uh, Foulmaster. We kind of did a, a short split up. That way we'd have a better chance of finding a vehicle. As I'm running through, just looting, as soon as I jump over this little wall here, the fence... I hear some footsteps, and he had said there was nobody in the town, but I knew these footsteps weren't normal. So instead of ignoring them, I just start moving around and looking for the guy. And I know he must be upstairs, so Foulmaster's heading this way. And while I'm watching my corners here, I'm getting ready to use that AK because I know it's going to be a close quarters fight. I see his buddy sneaking up. So knock him, kill him, and it's time to get the final guy. And we kind of need to, I mean, this kind of helps us a little bit, getting some of their loot, because we don't have a whole lot ourselves. But we're wanting to get out here as quick as we can. So we get their loot, get that knock and that kill, and we're moving on. We found that crate, I don't know if you can kind of see it, I'm looking right at it right now, but it had already been looted. And there was a lot of gunfire up here, so we thought well, maybe these guys have our crate. Um, we were a little late to the game because those other, other two guys slowed us down. But we still want our crate. And there's the guy jumping over the fence. I tell Foulmaster we kind of move into different positions here. So we can get him in a crossfire. And I think he might have seen me. But AK time. Ooh, that grenade. So, uh, Foulmaster gets a sniper off these guys. I stick with what I've got. And we have to move on. The circle is on us. So we only got one crate this particular round. Um, but I did get a silencer off that guy. So they did have the crate weapons. Um, so Foulmaster has it all on him. And we're kind of alternate. You know, one day, one time he'll get the crate stuff. I'll get it next time. We try to sync up, take these guys out together. That works perfect. Foul gets that next kill. And then we have to move out again. So we had decided, if you haven't seen my how to do the final circles video, um, I follow some of my own tips from in there. And since it's so early on, we actually just run right up to the mid, to the dead center of the entire thing. There's one little shack right up here. We heard a lot of gunfire, so we knew other people. Maybe they've seen my video too. No, I'm just kidding. So without, without exposing ourselves, we decided to throw a few grenades. And my grenade missed, so I'm going to kind of move into a flanking position so that we're not coming up in exactly the same spot. And I catch that guy running inside. I 
So it's hard to hit inside there. He's got just enough cover to, to hide from us. But what's interesting is, because we're going to take shelter inside there, so where we're at right now is actually going to give us a, a bit of a upper hand. Give us the upper hand at the end of this. So we're trying to flush him out. We we'll start pushing in on him, and I guess he realized it, so he takes off running. It doesn't really matter at this point because my 7.62 is a little faster than him. Yep, they outran him. Sorry, buddy. So we're just going to kind of bunker down in here, uh, wait it out, and we hear some gunshots as everyone's starting to come into this area. So we're all right here. We're paying, t paying attention where that blood splatter was coming and the shot, so we know they're kind of behind us. But I did want to get this guy. I don't want to get sandwiched between these people. I know, right there. I don't know if you could barely see it from the crack of the door. Just left of my crosshair. That guy died. I We did not know that. We thought he was still alive and behind that. So we thought there was one guy behind that rock and one guy behind us. Uh, we were wrong on that. Um, Foulmaster saw that guy behind us. And we thought this guy behind the rock was still alive. So we were going to push him. And you can see his crate on the left-hand side, but we did not know that, know that at the time. We pushed in ways, then we, it dawned on us, wait, it's these two guys, they're still alive. So since he knocked that guy, he wanted to go finish him off. And we knew he had a partner, and there's his partner. Get a little, a nice clean headshot, and boom, we win. That was our second chicken dinner of eight games. That was pretty fun. Hope these tips helped. <laughs>